Have you guys seen Jimmy Hatcher? He's gotten way cuter this year. Oh, I know. It's like his body finally caught up with his head. <laughs> <laughs> he used to think I was hot last year, but that was way before he got hot. Do you still think he'll think I'm hot now that he's hot? Oh, trust me, girls. Hot comes and goes, but if you find one who knows how to use a napkin, chain him down. <laughs> Mom, can't you do the laundry tomorrow? Yeah, and in the morning, who's gonna be screaming for clean underpants? <laughs> I never do that. Hey, Judy. Pumpkin. Chad, please don't call me that in front of my friends. Pumpkin? How can I stop calling you Pumpkin when you're so punkin'? What are you doing? The battery in the remote's dead. So you're taking the one out of the smoke alarm in your daughter's room? <laughs> Just temporarily. I'll put it back after the Super Bowl. Oh, God, Mom! <laughs> oh, hey, Brad Pitt, your six-pack show. <laughs> Oh, back in the fridge, boy. Has anybody seen my... Oh, hello, ladies. I'm Brian, Lauren's older brother. They call me B-Dog. Can I please have some privacy? Okay, let's leave Lauren and her friends alone. Look, I found Lauren's bra. <laughs> Tammy, take that off right now. I don't know how. Brian, take that off your sister. I'm not touching Lauren's bra. Just get out! Bill, Tina, B-Dog, let's go. Hey. B-Dog, it's you. Okay. You can read. this? Because it's important that you learn about history. World War II was a very big event. It's because of brave men like this that we live in a free world. Who's that? That's Hogan. <laughs> he's, uh, he's trying to smuggle in a cake for LeBeau's birthday. I don't see why I can't take the classes that I want to take. Because you're taking basic math in high school when you should be taking algebra. I don't see why you insist on ruining my life. Oh, sweetie, it's not like I'm out to get you. I'm also ruining Brian and Tina's lives. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, honey, and your life, too. <laughs> All you take are the easiest classes. You'll never get into a good college. Maybe I don't want to go to college. Hey, let that be the college's decision, like it was for your mom and me. <laughs> Could you please just do what I say? Your father and I know what's best for you, right, Bill? Right. Why do you always agree with Mom? Because if it wasn't for her, all this would be a field. <laughs> and you would be a rock. So you're taking the algebra or you're grounded. Now go upstairs and do your homework. Whatever. Oh, don't whatever me, young lady. I invented whatever. <laughs> That's mine too. Judy, Judy. I really think we should consider a Swiss boarding school. Bill, I told you, you're not going to a Swiss boarding school. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, guys. Hey, sis. So, I brought a beet salad. Why? Judy invited me over for dinner. Why? Because <laughs> my oven's broke. You sure it's really broken? So you got to stick your head way in there. <laughs> so, what's going on? Bill and I just had another huge fight with Lauren. We sent her upstairs to do her homework, which means... Lauren, get off the phone and start doing your homework. God, lately she has been such a pain. I can't get her to do anything without a fight. Well, maybe that's the problem. Sounds like someone's talking at their child when perhaps they should be talking with their child. <laughs> Yeah, and I guess you would know because your imaginary children are so well behaved. <laughs> are they here now, Linda? <laughs> hey, I don't have children, but I happen to be taking a night class in psychology and we're studying teens right now. Oh, well, let me save you some time. They eat your food and then they turn on you. <laughs> Well, the chapter we're studying says the best way to deal with a kid like Lauren is just to negotiate with them. Well, if I was any good at negotiating, I wouldn't have had Lauren. <laughs> well, they just suggest that you sit down and you just calmly work out a deal. They get something they want in exchange for something you want. Very simple. Well, I like simple. 
let's give it a try. Lauren, come down here. Thanks for the advice. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I, I see things and feel like I got to speak up. <laughs> what? Have you started your homework? No. Oh, well, good. Your Aunt Linda's been taking a psychology class, and she suggested that I negotiate with you. So here's the deal. You can either go do your homework, or you could sit and listen to her talk about her class. Homework. <laughs> <laughs> that worked great. Stay right here, Linda. Bill, did you clean out the gutters? No. Oh, have I got a deal for you. <laughs> This is like it never ends. Hey, you're the one who said I do. You know how we made Lauren take that harder math class? Yeah. Well, her algebra teacher set home her first test. She answered the first three questions. I don't know. I don't care. Why don't you ask my mom? That's just stupid. You don't know algebra. <laughs> I'll talk to her tomorrow. But it's not just the class, Bill. It's everything. I'm sick of fighting with her. You know, I'm at the end of my rope. Judy, calm down. You know, all I have to do is turn into big angry guy and Lauren will get scared and fall back in line. I don't know if she's afraid of big angry guy anymore. Judy, everyone's afraid of big angry guy. You, the kids, the carny who claimed I didn't win that giant-sized comb. <laughs> What are you going to tell her? That she's just got to learn that when you get the big angry guy angry, there's going to be hell to pay. I'm going to use the voice and pound the fist and show her where the here is that I've had it up to. That's not bad. You bet it isn't, because when you play with the bull, you get the horns. And I'm telling you, this garbage is going to stop right now. Your mother and I are sick and tired of your attitude. If you don't straighten out, there's going to be hell to pay. Like what? <laughs> what? I mean, when you say hell to pay, what exactly does that mean? It means hell, lots and lots of hell. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just when you yell like that, your head looks like a really big tomato. <laughs> We're screwed. She laughed at me. <laughs> She laughed at the big angry guy. <laughs> you don't laugh at the big angry guy. That hurts his feelings. Oh, sweetie. You know, let's face it, at some point we all lose some of our parenting weapons. Remember when the kids used to run from tight lipped, scary voice, Mom? Yeah, I loved her. What happened to her? Well, they stopped running and started doing a funny impression of her. <laughs> let's face it, they know all our tricks. I have an idea. Oh, Bill, we can't just drop him off in the woods and drive away. <laughs> and I'm out. I just suggested we negotiate with Lauren, you know, bargain with her. Of all that stupid... unless... No, it really is completely... However... <laughs> nah, it's just totally... And yet... All right, can I be in on this? You can do the whole thing by yourself. I'm just thinking, what if we only let Lauren think we're negotiating? We tell her to stick with the algebra, and in exchange, we make some vague promise we never have to keep. Well, Bill, that's not really negotiating. That's more like scamming. I guess so. I like it. <laughs> what can we promise Lauren that's nice and vague? Well, let me see. We tell her if she sticks with the algebra class, we'll, uh... I got it. Respect her privacy. That seems to be a real big deal with her. Yeah, she's always griping about that one in her diary. Did she say anything about big angry guy in her diary? Oh, Bill, let it go. <laughs> I know. Hey, Lauren. Oh, I have to go. It's them. <laughs> I know. I'll call you back. Hey. Your father and I have been thinking, and we'd really like you to stick with the algebra class. Or what? There'll be blocks and blocks of hell to pay! <laughs> no. Uh, actually, we don't think it's fair that you do this without offering you something in return. Really? Yeah, so we're willing to negotiate. You are? If you stick with algebra and do well, your father and I promised... I know. We'll respect your privacy. That's good. We'll respect your privacy. How? Let's just say we'll really, really respect it. Well, that sounds fair. Great. Hey! What sounds fair? 
Mom and Dad are negotiating with me. <laughs> oh, gosh, negotiation, huh? What a fresh approach to parenting. Um, how did you guys come up with that idea? Was it written in sausage on a pizza? <laughs> no, a little birdie told us. A bitter little birdie whose body gets a little further south each year. <laughs> so is it a deal? Sure. Great. Okay, now all we have to do is just put it on paper. What? Really? Why? Yeah, because once it's on paper, it's official, and everyone knows what's expected of everyone else. What do you think? Sounds dangerous to me. Uh, we're not putting it on paper type people. Well, why not? Because we don't like to waste paper. Are your mother and I the only ones who care about the rainforest? Didn't you once cut down a tree so you wouldn't have to rake? It wasn't just that. That tree was haunted. Maybe we should put it in writing yeah. just to be safe. Yeah. Okay. So, what do you want the contract to say? What's going on? Your parents are negotiating a contract with Lauren. If Lauren promises to pass algebra, we promise to respect her privacy. Well, that sounds kind of vague. <laughs> what do you mean vague? Well, it's just that passing algebra is specific, whereas respecting her privacy, what does that really mean? Don't you have some bully's homework to do? <laughs> He's right. You know, there are a lot of terms and conditions here that need to be clarified. Yeah, let's make sure it's clear. Lauren, Lauren, do we really need all this interference from Mr. Mumbo and Miss Jumbo? <laughs> we are your mommy and daddy. Do you think we'd actually try and cheat you? <laughs> Okay, I think we've covered the section on privacy. We need to take another look at the subsection on phone usage. Well, if we're giving in on phone usage, she has to improve her attitude. Attitude? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> that. <laughs> well, then you guys can't be lame. Lame? What's that supposed to mean? That. <laughs> she can have extended phone privileges three times a week if she cleans the dishes every night doing the dishes every night unless I get phone privileges every night. Well, I'm sorry. That's our final offer. Well, this is my final offer. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, what we have here is an emotional dynamic which has resulted in an impasse. We studied this in my class. Now, there's one theory. I'm that good. Me too. <laughs> oh my God, look at the sink. I didn't do it. Oh, the dishes have been washed and put away. Oh, yeah, I did that. No, you didn't. Lauren did it. I took a shot. You know, this whole contract thing is really working out. Lauren did the dishes five times last week without even being asked. Would have been six, except for Tuesday when we ate tacos over the sink. Yeah. No, it's been working so well, I decided to drop a little contract between us. What kind of contract? It's a couple's contract directly relating to matters of an adult nature. And by adult nature, I mean bumping hoo-hahs. <laughs> Let me see that. Proposal of suggested activities. Yeah. No. Yes. Oh, and uh, mm, only if you clean out the garage. Not that important. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Oh, hi, Lauren. Thank you for cleaning the dishes. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for allowing me my 20-minute phone conversation without listening in. Lauren, I'd like to exercise my option to say one lame thing a week. Sure, go ahead. I'm so proud of you, punkin'-y, punkin'-y, punkin' face. Cutest punkin' in the whole punkin' patch. Fuck it. Okay, we'll pick this up next week. See how polite she was. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Who was it who said we were crappy parents? Brian and Tina. <laughs> yeah, and where are they now? Yeah. No, seriously, where are they? I don't know. I think one's in the yard. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, uh, hi, Mom. This is Jason. He's in my math class. Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Miller. Well, nice to meet you, Jason. Um, he just stopped by to help me with some of my algebra homework. Ah, algebra. If you're anything like I was in school, X equals D minus. <laughs> okay, Bill, let's leave these two alone. Oh, that's okay. We're going to go upstairs. Whoa, 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 whoa. Upstairs? Yeah, we're going to my room. Oh, up to your room? No, oh, oh, wait, wait a minute. How old are you? 16. Maybe you and this man should study in the kitchen. <laughs> Dad, do 
Jason is a friend of mine, and the contract specifically says I can have friends alone in my room. Now, wait a second. She has a point. It is in the contract. You kids go on up and study. Thanks, Mom. Judy, Judy, Judy. Bill, they're just studying. I know what they're gonna study. He's looking for the square root of my daughter. <laughs> Calm down, Bill. If we want this contract to work, we have to trust her. I trust her. It's mutton chops I'm not that crazy about. Nothing's gonna happen with us right down the stairs. Plus, Jason seems completely harmless. He's got man hair, Judy! <laughs> I've been a teenage boy. I know the disgusting stuff that's in their heads. Well, I have been a teenage girl, and trust me, it's the guy she doesn't bring home that we have to worry about. Thanks. Now I'm worried about him. Does he have man hair, too? Sneaky little bastard. Hey. Ted, what are you doing? You're supposed to give us our privacy. I know, I know. I, I, I really have to check out the... Uh... uh Heating ducts. I was downstairs. I, I heard some noise. I haven't heard any noise. Oh, I distinctly heard it. Oh, oh there it is. Oh, I'm guessing the problem's down here in this duct. Yeah, this is going to be an all-day job. You kids might want to go study downstairs. <clears throat> Sir? Yeah, duct's right up there. Well, this is worse than I thought. It's supposed to be here. I need about 12 feet of tubing, some amps, some watts, maybe some kilos. I'm not going to know until I get in there. <laughs> Do you need any help with this? Uh, it's pretty complicated. Well, my family has a heating and cooling business, so I kind of know all about it. <laughs> of course you do. So, uh, what exactly is the problem, Dad? Well, it's probably the, uh, endotrenic... Sonderating. I'll oh, forget it. I'll look at it later. Jason, is this the right formula? Let me take a look. Oh, Dad, could you get the door on the way out, please? Contract. No, the contract states that you're allowed to study alone in your room with your friends. It does not mention a door. Fine, I'm gonna go study at Jason's house. Maybe I'll go, too. You can't go to Jason's house. Yes, I can. I'd like to meet his family. I have some questions about the heating and cooling business. You know, maybe I should just quit algebra. Well, then we'll start listening in on your phone calls. Well, you can forget about me doing the dishes. And let's just forget about the whole contract. Fine with me! Fine! Oh, no, 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 no! Fine, we are not forgetting about this contract. I have had peace and quiet and clean dishes in this house for a week, and it's going to stay that way. Maybe I should go. You're not going anywhere. You are going to go put that door back on, and you're going to go upstairs and study, and you are going to go upstairs and be alone with my daughter in her bedroom with the door closed. <laughs> now, who wants a can of pop? What are you doing? I dropped the remote. Yeah. Up the stairs? You don't know everything about gravity. But I do know a lot about BS. By the way, thanks for helping me fold the towels. You're welcome. You didn't help me. Took a shot. <laughs> I'm already so freaked out. Should we really be doing this? They can't come in here. It's in the contract. I know, but I feel weird with them right downstairs. Don't worry. They're not coming up. What's going on in here? Mom! <laughs> I cannot believe you two. All right. <laughs> What's going on? You are not going to believe what these two were doing. I knew it. All right, man hair, get out of my house. Oh, no, Bill, he was doing her homework. Apparently, we've raised a cheater. Oh, thank God. Bill? I mean, you are in so much trouble, young lady. Can I go now? Yes, go. So, you wanted the door back so you could cheat. You have lost all privileges that you got with that contract. Fine, if you're breaking the contract, then I'm dropping algebra. Oh, damn it, Lauren, your mother and I have had it. I 
No, I know. There's going to be hell to pay. No, Lauren. I give up trying to scare you into doing things. You're too old for that. I just wish there was some way I could make you want to try harder in school, but there isn't, and it's all my fault. It is? Yeah. I'm always trying to trick you with an angry voice or a contract instead of doing the hard work of setting a good example. Bill. No, no, it's true, Judy. I, I take shortcuts. How can I blame these kids when they do the exact same? <laughs> Never mind. No, Dad, it's not you. It's me. I'm lazy. I can do algebra. No, Lauren, I'm not going to push you to do things just so I don't feel failure. <laughs> No, I'm doing it for me. I'm going to stay in the class. Well, I would like that very much. <laughs> okay, we're going to let you study. Come on, honey. <laughs> so is this your new character? Disappointed with himself, guys. <laughs> bad she felt? Yeah, I was peeking through my fingers. How'd you get your eyes to well up like that? I yanked out a nose hair. I've been meaning to tell you to get that one. <laughs>